Hi, I'm director Neil Johnson. I've directed 10 feature films, 500 plus music videos, been a director for 26 years. And all I really care about is doing science fiction films. And I guess uh, people want to know why I do science fiction. Well, I came to an interesting realization a couple of years ago. My, my dearest friend, Phil Bertham, passed away. And it made me realize that life is hanging on a thread. And I, I hear a lot of astronauts speaking about when they go into space and they look down on, upon the Earth. And it's this blue globe hanging in space. And uh, basically, the, the whole Earth is just hanging on a thread. And we can be destroyed at any point by um, solar flares or um, you know, heavy asteroid hit or anything else. Our existence is, is very, very fragile. And we spend our time worrying about small matters, you know, having wars about this and that. When you look upon yourself in, in a universe that is possibly populated by no one but ourselves, I, I, look, I know it's, it's uh, statisticians say that, you know, there's probably about a thousand planets in our galaxy right now that harbor intelligent life, but we don't know this. This is just conjecture. And it's very possible that we are the only intelligent, self-aware beings in the whole universe. It's possible or not, and we may never know. The burden on our shoulders is that we have a responsibility to witness the universe and see the universe in its existence and explore it because if we are the only thing there is and we pass away, then the universe goes unremembered, unrecognized. So for me, the burden of, of existence is that we get out in the universe and we explore and we go to other planets and we go to Mars and we go to Titan and we find ways to, ex to exist on these worlds. And I feel this is really the most important charge of mankind. It's a little bit sad that, that uh, this, this, this world is, is so focused on small matters. And I think we as a race of beings should be focused, number one, on space travel. And dare I say this genetic manipulation so that we can exist in other worlds and so we can propagate ourselves across the universe because we may as human beings not be able to exist on any other planet but Earth. And the only way we will exist in the galaxy on other worlds would be to modify ourselves so we can withstand the, uh, the pressures of the universe, withstand the uh, different atmospheres, the different environments. And so I, I charge every scientist and every astronaut that uh, this is what their focus should be. And I charge every government with the fact that this is what they should be looking upon is getting ourselves off this planet as quickly as possible because we, we live in a very fragile world and we are very fragile in our existence. And without this notion, we will soon perish and there'll be no one there to remember us. I grew up in the twilight of the great empire. We oppose this ridiculous war against the Terra Nostra. The Federation flourished and the people were censored. You people are nothing but war mongers. And a new order would soon arise. Old Earth is to be vaporized. There's no more time for discussion. At 2300 hours, we strike. The Federation are bombing their own planets. And they're blaming us. Blast shield, freeze! Thrusters online. Fire! Shields are gone, Captain! Open fire! 